After lunch, it was sleep time for JJ and Julia and time for mum to take a break. After 45 minutes, though, I was wondering whether JJ had fallen asleep. So JJ fast asleep now? Yes, he sure is. Why don't we go and check, make sure they're all right? And unfortunately, JJ was wide awake. JJ, come on, it's your nap time. I wanted mum to stick to the routine, but as JJ hadn't fallen asleep and nap time was nearly over, I suggested to her that he just rest and be in his room. But mum was having none of it. I'm gonna let him sleep an hour when he goes to sleep. Right, so then guess what happens to your yeah, routine? My whole routine goes Correct. out the window. Correct. You've gone past your routine and now everything is turned upside down. I don't agree with you. No, I don't want him to sit in his room quietly. He needs to sleep. He cannot make it through the day being this tired. It's just, he, he can't. I mean, and you know, we're just aggravating the situation being in here. I was trying to reason with Danielle, but she just shut down and refused to listen. If he falls asleep, by the time your hour's done... Gosh. Oh. I find that disrespectful, what you're doing right now. Well, I find it torturing to him for no reason. Don't. What, because he decided to stay? No. Okay, listen, you are not going to tell mommy or call mommy a bad name. This is your warning. Do not call mommy a bad name. And this is just what it's going to do, of course. It's just going to make no, him no, wild and no, crazy no, the whole day. Not. Yes, it is. He was. No, this is so obvious. It's just going to make him crazy and all the timeouts and all that stuff. I mean, he needs a nap. The kid, if, if it was different, excuse if he... Me, excuse me, will you calm down? OK, but if... No, not OK. I'm talking to you. <sighs> and I find... Excuse me, I find that very disrespectful. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I really do. We're two adults okay. here. But I find it disrespectful to him what we're doing right now, so I'm, I'm, ha I'm getting very upset. Okay. To have someone coming in and try to just totally change the way you live, it's just maddening. It was on. It was on. I'm here trying to work with you. I'm not saying you have to agree with everything I'm saying. Right. I'm just asking you and that now, when you are of course, us talking here has woke her up. Change is happening, and you either go with it or you fight it. And that's what I was seeing from Mum. There are times that he will sleep. There are times that he won't sleep. There are times that he's quite happy in his room by himself playing, and that's wonderful. You need it more because you're the one who's overwhelmed and needs to get everything in place. Uh, but, uh, okay, I disagree. We can just well, say we disagree. It, it, listen, as a parent, you will be burnt out if you don't honour the fact that you have to sometimes just sit down as well. Right. You know, just to be able to put your feet up and have a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. and you know what, you're entitled to do it. Right. And that's right. where you're at, and I acknowledge that. I think Mum's really realised that actually sticking to the routine is best. It allows her to have the breaks that are necessary so that she's rested and whatever the kids throw at her, she can deal with. When you're overwhelmed, the noise and everything else is too much, it's too right. much. And that's a really good indicator that, that the body needs to just take five. It dawned on me what she was kind of getting at. You know, sometimes you really do need a relief or a break. I apologize for getting upset. So. No, no, no one thing. I'm here because I had the honor helping you in your home with your family and your children. And everything I do and say is because I care. Right. Okay. But, the, but the importance is, is sticking with you when you're going through it, okay? Okay. Because I care. Joe stepped on very shaky grounds, but knowing that she was doing that in an attempt to help me, I really appreciated it.